Welcome back, everybody. You already know this your girl heaven sent. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so this is going to be your emergency blackout for the next 24 hours. Keep in mind this read is general and it may not resonate with no damn body. You see what I'm saying? No. Let me tap right in. Because the energies that we're dealing with in the next 24 hours, it's like, okay, this is dealing with somebody who you may have known for a very long time, okay? Like years been put in. I feel like it's a foundation there to a certain degree. Like you may have kids with this person, you know, you may even be in a business with this person. But the underlying energy is kind of solid. You know, like this person, like this will be the type where you will know this person forever. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them connections. Because I feel like Whoever this person is, okay, it's a it's an energy there. It's an energy exchange there. It's communication. It's traveling back and forth. It could be traveling with this motherfucker. It could be. It's like a lot of energy back and forth dealing with this person. I feel like whoever this person is wants you back like they confident in trying to chase you it's something with chasing you trying to get you like because this person has never stopped loving you or like never stopped supporting you you know it's one of them connections i feel like it's like this person may have dealt with multiple people after you two have broke up and the reality of it is no one like you. You know what I'm saying? No one has their heart like you do, you know? Um, Cause I feel like dealing with this foundation that's there to a certain degree you know it got damage like it got damage but it's like it's not ruined you know what i'm saying it's not like destroyed where you can't put something there to fix it or you you know what i'm saying like you need to close the cracks and it's it's that type of foundation where it's it's not destroyed, but it's damaged. Like, ain't no way in hell motherfuckers is coming back together. You know what I'm saying? It's it's one of them. It's one of them. Because I feel like whoever this person is could be very stable, very wealthy, very dependable. Could actually be a great father. Okay? Great provider. You know, but when it comes to you two, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Like motherfuckers has tried to make it work, but it's not. I feel like whoever this person is talks about you to other people, put you on a pedestal, like talk very positive about you they think very highly of you you know so the people that they could be connecting to could be kind of jealous you know because of this person talk so positive about you you know this ain't the type of motherfucker that's dogging out the mother of their fucking kids it's not gonna fucking happen you know what i'm saying it's, it's not one of them so anybody 
who dealing with this person like would have to respect the mother of their children regardless of what the fuck happened what the fuck is going on like if you say anything stupid you know what i'm saying about the mother of this person kids it's a wrap it's a wrap i feel like this person is very disappointed in themselves you know dealing with the situation like regret a lot you know regret not changing in a timely fashion it's a feeling like it's a permanent change you know what i'm saying whatever happened between you two is permanent it's permanent wherever it's at right now that's where it's at you know it's it's really nothing that a motherfucker could say or do to bring this shit back together like this person will always chase you will always come at you well will always contact you will always want to do things with you it, it's still that energy of willing to try like what's the worst that can happen you know what i'm saying even the worst has already happened but in their mind they thinking like okay why not try to shoot my shot with the at the kids at my kids mom you know what i'm saying it, it's like that type of shit here i feel like whoever this person is right works very hard and put a lot of energy into making things comfortable as far as like maybe you and the kids or trying to do things trying to like balance energies out maybe give you a break from the kids or it, it's still an energy here of this person is active in and out 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 like it ain't not it ain't like this person is just in and out and you never see this person this is in and out in and out keep coming in and out like contact it's this person is always there gonna always be there have always been there if this is making sense i feel like when it comes to you this person is fearing low key like they don't want you to have a child with someone else they don't that's a fear like that's their worst nightmare dealing with you where somebody gets you pregnant they they i don't know what would happen if that happens it's a hitting emotion there about you carrying someone else child you may actually get pregnant by someone else and they know it so they fear it i feel like you and this energy just planning and trying to make things work for you and you trying to take things or whatever you got going on the long way i'm talking solid shit you on common sense shit you on serious shit like you know what i'm saying you on that type of shit and i feel like whoever this person is you definitely may have grew up with them you two may have got together when y'all was young most definitely i'm seeing kids here but it's like you have evolved into this person this goddess it's a goddess energy about you that you haven't like evolved in because at first you know when you two may have 
separated you went through this period of being alone you know lacking in certain areas of your life and then things had start changing for you you know like a lot of opportunities was coming your way a lot of things was happening very fast like even though you was in a period dealing with this person it didn't take you that long to come up out that energy if this is making sense because i feel like this person is very attracted to you they find you very attractive like whatever energy they carry in they feel like you carry it too but in a different way I wouldn't be surprised this person tell you like how they really feel this person may have already apologized for how things went or how they acted in the situation like they may have already apologized for that and they may like fear that you kind of brushed it off it's like this person just want to be in a space with you that involves healing this person may actually tell you how much they actually love you you know what i'm saying because they love you even though you're not with this person they love you but you just may be the type now dealing with this person where it's all about like okay logical you know what i'm saying the truth of the situation like keep it moving you know what i'm saying like something else is for me i'm going towards something else something else is for me like it's the truth it's the truth like this person know you're doing your thing you know you thriving this person knows this you thriving not you are not the same period and i feel like whoever this person is they may have paid too much attention to you not far as like okay just always want to be around you and just you know what i'm saying not that type of attention they may have studied you too much you know what i'm saying like like every little thing you done or something like that where how am i trying to say it they watched like little shit that just didn't even really matter. Like they pay too much attention to you. Like they so worried about looking at you. They should have been looking in the mirror. If that is making sense. Like why you worried about what's wrong with me or what I need to do. It's like look in the mirror yourself and, and see what the fuck you have done and what you need to do and what you have fixed. Like that's what I'm talking about. They pay too much attention to you and not to themselves. They felt that you pointed fingers at them for everything. You know what I'm saying? Like they just were a major fuck up you know what i'm saying on on, on on certain levels on certain levels so that's kind of what went wrong you know dealing with this situation but the reality of it is you just got a motherfucker in your life who you know could still be in love with you and you may still have love for this person due to the circumstances, due to due to the situation, due to, you know, it could be the 
the your child's father or mother or whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying it, it goes deep you still like have love for this person you know but you're not in love with this person and this person could be having you know a lot of regret right now on where things are at between you two even though it's still kind of solid But this person may actually want it, wanted to get back to a, a, a place that it once was. But it's like, no, you know, like, it will never go back to that if that shit is making sense. So, yeah, thumbs the fuck up. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out, y'all. Girl, you can hang that up. Get that out your head.